First of all, it's nothing personal that everyone left. It's just board events. <laughs> <laughs> just so you know. I appreciate it. With David out, what what t obviously you don't want the opportunity to come with someone's injury, but what kind of opportunity do you think it'll be for you to get some more playing time on offense? Um, you know, I think it'll be a great one, but you know, I'm just whatever roles the coach can use me in, um, offensively, special teams, whatever it is, I'm just getting ready to go. Um, you know, getting ready to help my team out and make plays. Well, what have you learned about Justin Fields and your time together and what tells you that it's his time to be a starter? Um, well, coach said it, <laughs> but um, <laughs> um, just, you know, just being around him, um, you know, seeing the ownership he's taken, um, you know, he's getting confident, more confident each week. So just being around him and seeing how he's continuing to grow um, and make strides. Where did you see offense, where did you see offensive growth overall as you guys went through this process last week that was obviously not easy and came out and, and saw results? Um, just the guys coming together, I feel like, um, you know, really honing in on, on uh, us and what we need to do offensively and, and focusing on our job and our certain roles on the offense. And um, focusing on those things make pay a big dividend in, in during the game. So, Were you and your teammates expecting to hear Justin would be named the starter from now on, or was it unexpected? Um, I guess unexpected. Um, I don't think much of us really like pay attention to like um, that kind of stuff. but. What, what do you remember about rookie minicamp and stepping in the huddle with Justin and kind of the, what kind of command did he have, you know, that, that first time stepping in? Um, I, I don't even remember. Was, it, it was not that long ago, but it seems like forever ago. But um, I don't really remember. Do you have any examples of kind of the times when you've been in there with Justin and you get a sense of what kind of leader, what kind of quarterback he can be, even as a rookie? Um, Yes, no, but um, when we're in the huddle, I'm more focused on like what I got to do, what my job is. So, when the team trades for a decorated returner as they did yesterday, I imagine is that a good news, bad news thing? Where you like return of kicks, but also this probably means that you'll have more prominent offense. As well. Yeah, you know, um, it's always a good news to get playmakers on the team, any in any position. So, uh, you know, um, I don't know what Coach Taves is exactly going to do, but um, I'm exactly, I'm, I'm sure that. Um, Jakeem will help us out in a lot of many different ways. So, when well, David goes down and then Damien goes down, you realize, oh wow, I'm I'm the guy now. What's going through your head? Um, just gotta do my job, go out there, do my job, help my team out, make plays. What do you think is your biggest asset as a? How do you describe yourself as a running back? If you had to? Um, uh, um, able to do it all. I feel like um, be able to make plays. So. Your time around Damian, what's uh, struck you about his skill set and the things that he brings to, to this offense? Uh, definitely his physicality, um, his like detail during work, um, you know, practicing. He practices really hard. So just, um, you know, him being a vet and watching, seeing those things, and I think it's year eight for him. Um, just being able to pick and pull and take some of those traits and add it to my game. So. As far as the quarterback news, when did you learn? How did you learn? When she just asked me. <laughs> <laughs> You go back to it's kind of happened really, really fast. You go back to the time you wrapped up the Kansas things, happened not going exactly as you planned, and now here you are, keep returning for the Bears and in the rotation that running back. What's that process been like for you? Um, it's been a crazy process, but um, you know, it's one I would never change. Um, I think I needed it all, um, and it's helped me get to where I am today. But um, it's I would never imagine it when I was at Kansas, but um, being here now, you know, it's a blessing, and I, I don't take it for granted.